Hi everyone and welcome to my channel and to this video where I'm going to try and solve one of the biggest pastel mysteries. What is the blackest black? So I made a video a while ago, not so much answering the question, but asking the question, showing you what my current blackest black was and asking for all of your suggestions so that I could go out and get them and then do this video to compare them all. So I hope that you enjoy seeing the definitive answer to what the blackest black is. If you do like this, please do subscribe here on YouTube and check out all of my other videos and also consider becoming a part of our Patreon community where you can learn lots more of my pastel tips. But let's get to it. So first of all, a huge thank you to all of you who got involved in the debate on my first video and you left me some great comments there with suggestions for what your blackest black is. At the time and during that video, my blackest black was the Faber-Castell hard polychromos stick. Um, this one is the soft one, they come in soft and medium. So the soft Faber-Castell hard stick was my blackest black but many of you left me comments and I've since gone and collected all of the blacks that I could get my hands on so I'm going to do a quick test on some paper and let's see how they compare against each other. So firstly just to explain the medium of soft pastel comes in a few different forms. So firstly as you would expect the softest pastels these bigger sticks, softer in texture. So I've got quite a few of those to compare. But you can also get soft pastel in a harder form. So these smaller, uh, harder pastels, usually with square edges. And lastly, you can also get pastel pencils. As you would imagine, the hardest form of soft pastel. So what I'm going to do today is try and find the winner from each of these categories and then try and decide overall which of these gives the darkest, blackest black. So if you want to get your hands on any of these pastels I will add some links in the description below. Some of them I bought from Jackson's Art in the UK who I often deal with and also I asked Dakota Pastels in the US who have a fantastic range especially of some of the American brands which you can't really get here and I asked them for their opinion on which the blackest blacks were and their staff there are so amazing and they literally went around the shop and picked me out a great selection so big thanks to Dakota Pastels for helping me gather this wonderful collection of blacks. So what I'm going to do is just make a small sample with one line for the soft pastels, one for the harder pastels and one for the pastel pencils. And it's a bit hard to show you on camera all these different shades of black so I'll get the samples down, comment a little bit on the pastels as I use them and then I'll give you some really well lit close-ups so that you can hopefully see a bit better on camera what the differences are. So let's just get the samples on here. Starting off with the one of the Block X pastels. And I've got two of these pastels. This one was the Mars Black. This one is the Ivory Black. Haven't used these pastels before. They seem like a very nice texture though. Next we have the Sennelier. Um, a lovely pastel brand used by many artists but one that I'm never too fond of because they're so unbelievably soft. I even find it difficult handling this one just because of how soft and crumbly they are. So they do suit some people's style but I must be a bit heavy handed because I always manage to break and turn these into dust. And I also think that if you're trying to find a really black black, sometimes the very softest pastels won't necessarily get you there. So here we have a Mount Vision. I 
and it's such a tricky test this because black believe it or not does come in many different forms and shades but it is hard to compare them it just depends what light you're seeing it under so I will do my best to really scrutinize these blacks next we have the schminky and what I'll do is I'll come back and rub each of these into the paper because that's also the real test it might look really black when you first put it down but what happens when you give it a bit of a rub into the paper as you might do while you're painting so we've got two schminkies actually the first one just there plain black this one is called serious black so I had high hopes for this one and I've got to admit that is more black much more black than their regular black so that's a good start here. Before I started this, I did put them in a rough order. I've already tested them myself. So I have kind of put them in a rough order of preference at this stage. And this one was when we were starting to get into some good serious blacks as suggested by Schminky's name. Next, we've got a Rembrandt. Arguably, this could go in the harder pastels uh, section. Rembrandts are great, they're not too soft, they've got a good hard edge, not too much excess dust comes from them and that is a good black as well, very impressed with that one. Now we are into the Diane Townsends, I do love her little pastel sticks and they come in beautiful range of colours, so let's have a look at what the blacks are like. Thanks again to the guys at Dakota Pastels because they actually suggested some of the Diane Townsends. This one, one of her regular blacks, is good, but I think she has a, a better one later on in our comparison here. I've got three Diane, Diane Townsends. And there's one a little bit later on, which is actually classed as a, a midnight blue-green, believe it or not. Um, so sometimes you get the darkest blacks from something that's not even called black. And uh, this one, compared to this one, is a little bit deeper and richer. So two Diane Townsends there. Next we have one of my favourite brands, Unison. And when I first started using Unison, they didn't have a great black in their range. And within the last couple of years, they've added this lovely CB2. And that is good. That really stands up well against the Diane Townsends. Next we have Art Spectrum. Again, a brand that I haven't used very much of but I am well impressed with these blacks. We've got a couple of the art spectrums. That's their ivory black. This one is their lamp black. You'll notice all these different types of black. And I often find that the lamp black gives you that that really rich dark black so yes I think that their lamp black is darker than their ivory black and this one uh, the darkest Diane Townsend that I found 50D this is the one that I mentioned that is actually listed as a midnight blue green I believe but I struggle to see any blue or green in it it's really dark a very very good black so very impressed with this one next we have a great American this is just their regular black again impressed with this one all of these final ones really are what I class as the deepest darkest blacks in my opinion and finally what I think might have been the blackest, very soft pastel was this lovely, chunky little Richeson. And I was very impressed with this one. But really, between these final four or so, 
I would say there's not a lot of difference. Um, certainly this half of the list are all very impressive blacks. So let's move on to the harder pastels. We've got a Holbein which comes in its little box. So just putting a good amount of it onto the paper so that we can see what it's really like when you want to get that black good and solid. And of course I don't use a huge amount of black in my work but there are those moments when you need that really dark contrast within your work. Like the piece that I showed you in my first Black is Black video, that black shiny Dachshund. I really did have a need for some really really dark areas in that piece so it definitely does happen where I want to have the darkest contrast possible and that's what led me into doing this experiment. So next in the harder pastels we've got the Caran d'Ache and I do like the harder pastels when I'm looking to get dark colours. You can see the difference in the amount of pastel dust that comes off the softer sticks and these slightly harder sticks. And sometimes you don't want to create a huge amount of dark dust um, to contaminate other parts of your painting. So I often pick up these harder pastels when I'm looking for a black black. Next we have Create a Colour. Again, a couple of these brands I haven't used before, so interesting to try them out. Um, this one definitely uh, an improvement on the first two. Next we have a Gerald French brand and I've got two of those to try out actually. This first one is 526, that's the code number and I'm really impressed with this. In fact both of the Gerald's come up pretty strong in this test. Not a huge difference between them. The main difference between a lot of these blacks when I show you the close-up is the temperature. So some of them, like the first one, seems like a little warmer, like a little hint of brown to it. This one just seems a bit flatter, a bit more dead, but both of those are really dark. I'm very impressed with the Geralt's, which I haven't tried before, so that's wonderful. Next we have my favourite from before this video, maybe I'll have a new favourite after this video. This is the Faber-Castell which I've been using as my darkest black. And thankfully it still comes out pretty well in this test so I haven't been using the wrong black, this still comes out pretty strong. You'll see from the close-ups that it's just a bit of a different temperature to these two Geralt's. They're a bit warmer, this is a bit more, um, a bit flatter, a bit less warmth to it. And finally, the one that was sent to me most as a comparison to try against this Faber-Castell, I finally managed to get hold of the New Pastel, Prismacolor New Pastel. So many people have recommended this as being darker than the Faber-Castell. So the moment of truth, is it darker? Let's see. Well, it's very similar, very similar. And I would say that it is a tiny amount darker than the Faber-Castell, I do think so. But again, it's mostly due to the temperature. I think it's really similar to the Geralt actually. It's got a warmer temperature to it and the Faber-Castell is a slightly cooler black. Um, but both are really dark. I would say that this new pastel just about has that. I think it's the winner from that one, I think. So on to the pastel pencils. First of all, we've got a Gioconda. And there are times when you need the bigger sticks, there are times when you need the precision of the smaller, harder sticks, but there are also times when you need the very fine precision of a sharp point. 
So it's useful to know which the darkest is in all three of these areas, I think. So the Gioconda first on. Next we have Caran d'Ache, a brand of pencil that I really like. I do like their colour range. I use mostly the Faber Castells, but I do have some of these in my collection also. But first time trying their black, which isn't bad, but it, when you compare it to some of these very dark blacks over here, it certainly doesn't stand up that well, to be honest. Next, the black that I tend to use when I'm picking up a pastel pencil. It's often the Faber Castell. But I've known that this probably isn't the blackest uh, pencil, simply because it's nowhere near as black as the Faber Castell stick that I use. So when I need that to be darker, I turn to my stick, but it will be nice to find a pencil that is as dark as this. Hopefully we're going to do that. So that's the Faber Castell. Next we have Conte a Paris. So those first four are all quite similar actually. Not bad, good blacks, but nowhere near as dark as, for example, these ones over here, or even these ones at the top of the soft pastel list. Next we have Carbothello, again another pastel brand that I really like. I use quite a few of these now, I've added quite a few of these to my range. And that I think is slightly blacker than these other pencils that I have put down so far. So far that looks to be the best one. That's the Carbothello. Then we have Brunzil. Again, a brand that I haven't tried. Dakota Pastel sent me this one as a suggestion. And I'm glad that they did because it's a really good black. Very nice. That's just as good, if not slightly better, than the Carbothello. I think that might be slightly darker. Hopefully you guys will be able to see when I give you some close-ups. But now I have a wild card. This is not even a pastel pencil, but this was recommended to me by a fantastic artist. This is Wolf's Carbon, and it's a 6B, so I actually have some of these as drawing pencils. And I never thought to try and combine them along with my soft pastel. But this other wonderful artist, thanks to him, he knows who he is, suggested that I try this because this is his blackest black when he needs pencil. And I've got to admit, he's not far wrong. Sorry for the squeaky noises on the paper. <laughs> I'm very impressed with that. So between the Wolf's Carbon 6B, of course, to go for the softest one, you get the darkest color. That's really good. I'd say it's between this one and the, the Brunzil. But if you can't get either of those, I would happily use the Carbothello. So all three of these are really good. So I've given each one a bit of a rub into the paper. You can see from my hands in this one, this has got to be the dirtiest video I've ever made. But I've just added the names on the ones that I believe are the winners in this. And I'm going to try and give you some close-ups now. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see this on camera, but from these darkest ones at the bottom, and just to try and let you compare that to the top ones here, which just don't have the same depth or the same strength. And hopefully you can see on camera what a difference there is even between just the pastel pencils in general and the strength of darkness that you get from these harder pastels. So these would be my winners. I would say that it's probably the, the new pastel here the Brunzil here and really a toss-up between uh, the Richeson 
and the Great American here. But if those are brands that you can't get, then any of the ones that are marked here are really good. But my overall winner, after scrutinizing these samples in all sorts of daylight and under my studio lights, I think it's got to be the new pastel. Partly because when I'm looking for the darkest black, I'm often also looking for a nice sharp edge to the pastel. And because I just can't deny that this one is possibly the darkest black sample on the page. So that's my winner. It's the new pastel. So thank you very much for watching and I hope that you found this helpful. I certainly found it helpful. I've been meaning to do this for ages just to figure out what the, the order of blacks are. So I certainly find this experiment very helpful. And now I'm going to have to go and spend a good 10 minutes washing my hands after all that. So I hope that you'll subscribe to my channel here if you enjoyed this. Also check out lots of my other pastel videos where you can pick up lots of my techniques. Consider checking out my Patreon channel where you can learn from in-depth tutorials and join our wonderful community of artists. But until next time, happy pastling.